Alrighty, um, I'm recording this on my phone, but uh, you guys asked me to do a um, little review on this PC. Um, it's a custom build from NZXT. Um, I'm ordering this for my stream. Uh, you guys asked me to make this video, so I'm gonna do my best to, you know, kind of record uh, everything. You guys can see kind of the packaging it came from. And uh, I did the one day shipping. It doesn't look like it was uh, too beat up. It's like a little dent right there, but nothing too crazy. Um, I'll go ahead and record all I try and get this open. It looks like I'm gonna have to open it from this side, but uh, I'm gonna put the phone down so I don't break it. I'll be right back. Able to get um, everything uncut. Um, I'm really excited about this. Um, I'm gonna leave a uh, link to all the specs below. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty hyped about this. I'm hoping, oh man, this is so sick. Okay, so it looks like they got some good padding in there. This is what the, um, it comes in. Jeez, this looks like, um, it's pretty hefty actually. Could stop a bullet or something. All right, so I'll go ahead and set this right here. This is a knife, we got the little bayonet fade. <laughs> Alrighty, so you can see I got the um, big mid tower ATX case. Um, the reason I did that is because I wanted to get a big CPU cooler. Um, I got like a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty solid processor, so I wanted to make sure and get a good cooler with it. I don't know if that's scientifically how it works, but I just think uh, I just have always had some uh, of big cases, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know always kind of stick with that. <laughs> Looks like they have the padding on the outside padding on the inside uh, that was one of the concerns I had I did get the one day shipping um, but you can see they even have padding in here as well so it looks like they have padding on every side so pretty impressed with uh, all of the padding that they have oh look even more padding so it's pretty awesome looks like there's a little quick start guide saying so hook up the monitors plug in your peripherals Connect to the internet, sync up sound, power it up. Cool. So it uh, looks like there are some power cables. Pretty interesting choice here. So it looks like there's a bunch of power cables onto the side. Um, you can see what's in here. I'm not really sure what that is actually. Looks like something for ethernet maybe. And then there's this guy, which is a SATA cable as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these out. So they're just kind of all this side here. It'd kind of be nice to have these in like a little baggie or something, but you know, PC seems like it's safe. So that's all that matters. And it seems like it's pretty solid for a one day startup. Alrighty, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this bad boy out of there and then I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so we did get the plastic off. Um, one thing I do want to say is that this thing is heavy as hell. There's no real um, area to um, grab onto. Sorry, I'm trying to like show you guys everything. The case looks kind of plain, honestly. But um, again, we got the big case for functionality. I uh, wasn't really looking for. Um, Nothing, nothing too fancy, but uh, once we get this removed, I'll go ahead and show you guys what's on the inside. But I just want to mention, like, this is pretty heavy, honestly. Um, if you guys are trying to lift this, uh, it's it's a uh, it's got a good weight to it. Okay, so I got this unscrewed. There's a little hinge right here, and it looks like this just kind of pops off. Um, and I think you just kind of pull from here. Um, so here, one sec. I'm gonna set you guys down. I'll be right back. Um, I'm take this guy out as well. Okay, this one's really in there. I'm gonna be careful with that. Move it from this guy. Cool beans. So that's like really under that graphics card. I'm gonna try and pull it out. So wait. And we're good to go. All right, so yeah, you can see um, 
She's a beaut, honestly. Here's the 3070 Ti, the CPU cooler, the big ass fan. There's it up there. There's the three of them. So they, they fit that CPU cooler up there. It's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm like, I'm impressed. I feel like something's supposed to go right here. So maybe if you're supposed to get like an engraving plate or something, you can put it here, or maybe you could put like a solid state. I'm not really sure what this is for, but I think this is for like solid states. So that's pretty cool. And there's like little mounting areas for them. Sorry, not really good with this camera thing yet. Um, but yeah, you can see like they did a decent job with like the zip ties here. Um, don't know if I love the look of this right here, but I'm pretty sure there's like an option to pay for like professional wiring or something. But um, yeah, it looks like this sticker just comes off with like a little little guy right there. But um, yeah, I mean, I, uh, I'll i probably post another video um, doing a review of everything once I get this all set up and good to go. There's going to be nothing too crazy with the lights. Um, you can see all the fans. There's about seven. Like, yeah, seven. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And um, let me know in the comment section if you guys have any questions. Set up, nothing too crazy. Um, just got a little, this. I just got this Elgato light yesterday, actually. I uh, definitely recommend it if you don't want to go crazy with the lighting setup. Uh, I think green lights are just better, but... Um, we've got the PC plugged in. She's looking pretty cool. Um, I need to probably upgrade my desk. Um, you guys can kind of see I had to move my third monitor out. So I'm going to probably just play my games on here. Have my other stuff open on this monitor. Don't really love the fact that this monitor is blocking the PC. But, you know, um, it's just day one. So I'm going to move some stuff around and... Uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and give her a turn on. And... Okay, so you can see the little rainbow lights going. That CPU cooler is so sick. The RAM is turning on. Oh my God, yeah, that's beautiful. Okay, we got our little startup going on. Hopefully all goes well. I'm using all the USB ports, so um we're gonna see you know that if everything works um, i actually want to know in the comment section do you guys plug in your secondary display into your graphics card or your motherboard and all righty she works i mean honestly pretty easy setup process i think nzxt did a good job um, i'll probably post a follow-up video but uh thank you guys for watching um, you guys want to see more content like this, just uh, go ahead and let me know. Um, but uh, I'll catch you guys later.